Well, Fremantle Dockers captain Matthew Pavlich has successfully had a striking charge downgraded at the AFL Tribunal tonight. I spoke with Pav a short time ago outside the Tribunal. Well, Matthew, you must be a happy man. An important victory at the Tribunal tonight. It was, Tom. I guess we wanted to walk away from this evening having 45 base points as compared to the 70 if I did take uh, the guilty early plea. So a really good result and one that we're happy with. So, Pav, it wasn't about being eligible to win the Brownlow medal. It was really about what could happen to you down the track if you accumulated too many points? Absolutely. The Brownlow medal had no consideration or no weight whatsoever. I can 100% guarantee everyone out there about that. It was all about making sure that uh, not only was I seen to be uh, striking in a negligent way, I was very almost offended when uh, they were talking about it being reckless. I don't think in my 12-year, 240-game career I've ever been a reckless player. So from that perspective, it was good, but certainly from the perspective of only having 45 base points going forward, it was a good win. What did you think, Pav, when you saw it? Because I think on game day, most people didn't think there was much in it. Certainly during the game, uh, I didn't think anything of it at all, uh, Tomo. It was once I saw the, uh, the footage yesterday that it, uh, it was important that we build a case that we thought we could win on the base of it being negligent instead of reckless. OK. It was a wonderful win against uh, North Melbourne. One downside, Nick Subin, uh, just on a, on a change of tact. How is Nick after that broken leg? Look, Nick's out of hospital. Surgery went well. Um, we're really hopeful uh, that he'll be back playing in about eight weeks. It's only the fibula, so the lateral bone on the leg rather than the tibia as well. It's a great result in terms of the leg that, uh, or the part of the leg that he broke. Certainly we're keen to see him back out there in about eight weeks' time. And just finally, a big one against the Bulldogs on Anzac Day. Yeah, it's our Len Hall game. Uh, you know, it's becoming a rich tradition for Fremantle and, and our club. We're looking forward to it. The Bulldogs are obviously coming off a bye. We understand what a great side they are. They play terrific brand of football and we're going to have to be on our game, but we're confident we can get the points. Well, Pav, a good win tonight at the AFL Tribunal. Let's hope you get a good one on Anzac Day too. <laughs> Thanks, Tomo.